Hi, it's Dr. Robinson, and I'm here with Boom today. Are you there, Boom? Yeah. <laughs> you can say hi. Hi. Okay, so today we're actually going to go over some of the basic skills, and we really are hitting the basic skills because we could take hours and showing everything that uh, blind students need or screen readers users use and need to access their education. And of course, if the TBI is uh, not prepared to teach the assistive technology, the schools, of course, need to find an assistive technology instructor in order to enable them to access their education. So Boone, we're going to start out nice and easy today. I want you to go ahead and um, go ahead and open Word and pin it to, but pin it to the taskbar first before you open it. Can you please uh, do that? Yeah, you know what? Uh, you need to slow down your jaws, or no one's going to be able to understand. <laughs> understand your jaws. Thank you. Much better. And you can go ahead and just hit enter and enable while you're on it. Opening dash, opening dash word, list box word, new list box, blank document, one nice. minute, to move to an item press. Yep, and go ahead and open it. Okay. Print view, so, edit. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you, for all beginners, you need to really practice on your Windows a barrel. Uh, Boone is a pretty experienced user, so he knows that his screens need to be maximized. Windows a barrel. You can also set uh, your defaults to always be maximized. Have I shown you how to do that yet, Boone? I don't think so. Okay, I want you to go ahead and alt tab back to your file explorer. To move to an yep. item, press the arrow keys, period. Okay, let's just quickly show you how to do this. Applications key. Applications, context menu. Up arrow to properties. Menu, period. O, open, O, properties are. Enter and open. Enter, leaving menus, programs, items, view, multi select list box, word, 7 slash 27 slash. Time to run. Four, 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 three, zero, AM, started colon edit, type in, shortcut key, colon, hot key, none to define the run colon combo box, normal window, one of three. Hit M to, to maximize. Key, Minimize two of three, maximize okay. three of three. Now, hold on. So I never show students this because they need to be prepared to go to any uh, computer and they must uh, automatically get into the Windows apparel. So it usually takes about two to three years before I even show a student this because they need to be such in the habit of maximizing their windows because our screen readers like a full window to talk. So now, Boone's thinking, woohoo, my word is maximized. And I guarantee you, he will remember that command. All A to apply it. MM, Alta, access the night dialogue. You will need to provide administrator permission to change these settings. Continue period. Click button. continue to complete and the continue button. Period. Yep. Continue button. Back, enter, run, colon, combo box, maximize. Three, okay, three, Alt F4 and close. Alt F4, programs, items, view, multi-select. You can go ahead and close your programs also. Alt F4. Alt F4, Alt F4. document Beautiful. one dash word, okay. edit. So the first thing uh, students need to know, we're not going to go into annotations, but they must learn how to do annotations. So verbally, I'm just going to quickly tell you uh, at the end of their Word document, they would control enter for a new page. They were going to center. They're going to put either works cited for MLA or references. And then when they hit enter and they left the line, they're going to do control T, which makes a hanging indent. And then what I do is I actually give the students cheat sheets on what is, uh, and they, of course, are going to type them out, what you do for a citation for books or a magazine or whatever. Uh, and then they type out their citations. But today we're just going to do a basic format of an of a MLA APA document, which is identical. The first thing we need to do is insert F, and we need to listen to our font and style to make sure it really is Times New Roman 12. Go ahead and insert F. Well, point, black on white, times new Roman, normal style, line space and colon single, paragraph format and colon aligned left, outline Wait, level, colon Wait, do I need to do a control two? Absolutely. See, you're jumping ahead of it. Uh, so uh, we always want the kids to do uh, control two, but we need to go ahead and show everyone how to actually change it if it's not times new Roman 12. So let's go ahead and just do a control D and show everybody where it's at. Control D. Control D, font, font, colon, edit combo, times new Roman to set the value, use the arrow keys or type the value, period, computer okay. grade. And a student, of course, is going to tab through this and they're going to change it accordingly. If it's not their default, I highly suggest changing their default. That's just done quickly with an Alt D, just changes default. Alt A for all documents based on the normal template and then hit enter and it changes the default. 
Anyway, uh, Boon has this set up correctly, so go ahead and hit either enter or escape, either one. Escape, edit. Okay. The next one to set your default is going to be the paragraph spacing. So Boon, go ahead and do Alt O and then P. Alt O. Alt O, upper, leaving mm -hmm. menus, leaving ribbons, Alt plus G, P, alignment, okay. colon, combo box, left Beautiful. to change the selection, use the arrow keys, period, Alt plus okay. G. So I'm getting the older commands because they're just so much faster than uh, the ones on the ribbon. So if people are wondering where I got these commands, I've been doing this for a very long time. Uh, anyway, the one that is always off is this after spacing. So please do Alt F to your after, and typically it says eight or ten point Alt F. Alt F after colon edit combo zero PT to set the value. Use the arrow keys or type the value. Period. Computer okay. braille. Of course, Boone has already set this up, so he is zero, and he's going to tab, and he's going to hear single. It will say multi spacing for everybody else who has not set this. Go ahead and tab, Boone. Wide spacing colon combo box single to change the selection. Use the arrow keys. Period. Alt plus N. Once again, you're going to want to set this as the default. So every single time you open a document, it will be correct. Set as default again is Alt D, and it's going to ask you, do you want this one or all normal templates? You're going to do an Alt A for all documents based on the normal template and hit enter. And then your Word documents are going to be set up and perfect to go. Hit enter and go ahead and close. Edit. OK, now we have commands for almost everything. So Boone's going to now do a control two. As you heard, he already knows this needs to be double spaced. Control two. Control two. OK, the next thing we need to do is we always start at the very top, and that's getting into the header. The header is the white space in your margins. So Alt V and then H to get into your header, Boone. Alt V, e, upper ribbon, leaving menus, mm -hmm. leaving ribbons, header H, type and text, period. Okay. You need to write a line, and you're going to type your last name, and then we're going to insert your page number. Go ahead and write a line. Line right. Beautiful. Type in your last name. Just type in last name. Okay. Blank. Oh, no, uh, you hit backspace. Ask. Yep. Con uh, put uh, name and then control R again to write a line. You just have to be very careful in here not to hit backspace because then it centers your last name. Line right. Perfect. Uh, yeah, right, align right. Okay, so now you I don't need... have to select the text this time, it just aligns the whole document. You actually never have to select the text ever. If your cursor is on the line, you can do a control. Let's just show everybody control L and it'll immediately left align it. And you know, align left. Yep, control E and immediately centers it. Centered. Control R and immediately right align right. It. Perfect. So we're going to insert the page number now, and we're going to do that with Alt. I and then U, Alt I. And Alt then I, U. upper ribbon, leaving menus, leaving ribbons, Alt plus A, U, alignment, colon, combo box, right, to change the selection, right. use the arrow keys, period, Alt plus A. So you can tab around here and it says show number on first page. Well, yes, typically the kids are just doing a regular paper. Of course, if you need to do a title page, you need to, um, that's, we're not going to do that in this lesson, and that's pretty easy to do also. You can hit enter and it automatically inserts your page number. Type text, period. It centers everything just perfectly. You're going to go ahead and hit escape and get out of there. Oh, it actually shows the last name on right align, um, the right side of my braille. That is exactly right. That's also what's really, really nice is based on how you're aligning it. It will show it up on your braille display correctly. If it's center, of course, it'll be in the center of your braille display, et cetera. Yes. Thank you for pointing that out. Please hit escape and get out. That's the reason why we love a braille display. Okay. We need to do a heading now, uh, but before we do that, we need to check our margins because it must be one inch all the way around. Please Alt P to page layout and M to margins. M upper ribbon, 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 tabs, tab expanded, normal margins button selected, Alt followed by P, list box, margins, list box, normal margins button selected. Yep, and normal is the default for one inch all the way around. Of course, we have a huge variety of all other um, defaults set up, narrow, moderate, wide, mirrored, et cetera. Those are done for other things, but for a paper, it must be normal. Hit enter. Leaving menus, leaving ribbons. Okay. First and last name, please. So you can put your boon and last name. <laughs> just put last name. Boon. Or just last. last. <laughs> Okay, and hit enter. Normal. Enter. And go ahead and put teacher, because the teacher is going to go next. And you can just type teacher. Yeah. And hit enter and put subject. Hey, enter. Subject. Okay, and then what? Subject. You're putting the subject. Okay. Subject. And enter. Space, enter. Now, a very specific date needs to be in here. So go ahead and do Alt N and then D to your date. And we're going to down arrow eight. Times. Upper ribbon, 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 leaving menus, leaving ribbons, edit D, available formats, colon. Wait, how many times? Eight? 
down arrow eight times to here 27 February, February 2021. 2 2 February 2021. Enter. Print view okay, so it's always the full day, full month, and full year. Go ahead and hit enter. Enter. Go ahead and uh, center and just type in title. Centered. And is it faster to um, is it faster to do just the um to do the date in the ribbons or type the date in that format? You know what? It's it's uh, six one has a half a dozen in the other. Uh, I find all ND pretty fast, but if people find that they type faster, then you know what? It's just an option. So it's all good. Okay, go ahead and hit enter. Title, enter. Okay, go ahead and left align. Aligned left. We always need a tab in one time. 1 1.50 inches. just type in, this is where the paper starts. It is. Should I have um, my thing set to both characters and words? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Can you just insert two quickly and change to both characters and words? W, H, E. R E where Thank and you. my my P A P E R S T A R T S starts Beautiful. period. Okay, so uh, we also want to show you some math. So that's basically the the paper setup, which is really nice. So now we're just going to quickly transition into math because there's several things that we want to show you today. Go ahead and hit enter. Enter. Okay, I want you to go ahead and do number one period. Number normal number. One period. Mm -hmm. Based on the brow display, and of course, uh, we want to go ahead and do contractions off uh, with our, we're actually going to show you the word editor, which is basically the math editor in Word. We call it, yeah, so you can call it whatever you want on that. So the first thing you're going to do is, uh, and this shows up in perfect Nemeth code on your brow display. So I want you to go ahead and do alt equals for me, please. Alt equals. Okay, go ahead. Is it italic now or did the number one fix it? Because I know sometimes I don't have like numbers and it's still italic. Uh, it should be. Oh, yeah, it was italic. So I pressed control I. Now it says italic off. Yeah, and JAWS could be lying to you also. <laughs> because when you did a number one period, it was not italicized. Yeah, it yeah. comes up with the selected TYPE um, yeah. type math. Yep. Yeah, type math. So what? let's just show them how to do fractions. Go ahead and how about one half plus three quarters <laughs> equals one, one and three quarters. Two. So one half plus, plus mm -hmm. three quarters. Yep. How about three quarters, just so people have a variety here. Yep. Equal. And yeah, you Yep, your verbosity is set. He's very advanced. So his verbosity level is uh, very low, but most kids are going to have their verbosity at high level and they're going to be able to hear absolutely everything. Go ahead and give me one and one quarter on this though, please. One. Wait, so would I do one and then space? Space. Yeah, okay. otherwise it's going to make the whole thing a fraction. It's going to make it 11. One four. Slash four. Beautiful in space. Okay, now on his brow display, if he is on for display, he's using a, oh, what uh, what brow display are you using? Q Braille. But don't oh. you have to press enter and then a arrow to make it show an image? Uh, in your Q Braille, you may. I've used a Focus 40. It's ICIMG. Enter. Okay, enter. Yeah. One, one, yep. one, plus three, four, one I see it. Uh, mm -hmm. It looks perfectly now. Yeah, so I want you to write arrow so people can hear one and numerator, two and denominator. Yep. Equation comma one half plus three fourths equals one comma one fourth math content. Oh, we love that. Woo! Yep. One math content and numerator. Yep. Two and denominator plus three fourths. Three and numerator. Excellent. Four and denominator. Italic equals. Yep. Italic. One. I have no idea why it says italic equals. Uh, it's just, it's a one. perfect. And numerator. Mm. Four and okay. denominator. So really, really clean. And of course, this is how the students do their math. So they can immediately email this off to their teachers, which is really great. In escape, let's go ahead and do, uh, go to decimals graphing calculator, which everybody Eight. needs to know also. Uh, hit enter, yeah. Actually hit enter. your, and yeah, I was gonna say don't hit enter because you'll actually add mm -hmm. another fraction part. Hit end and then enter. End, and, and, and now enter. Enter, 
Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's go yeah. ahead and just do number two, and we're just going to pretend number, we've number. done in here. Mm -hmm. Space. Okay. Alt tab to uh, Desmos, please. Tech items, new multi select list box, jaws lessons, doc, document, one dash word, document, on your alt, yeah, vertical bar graph and calculator, dash Google Chrome, as most graph and calculator, expression list, complementary region, expression one colon edit, type and text period. Let's just do a quick parabola. So go ahead and just give me a y equals x squared. Quote y, quote y, quote y equals e space, quote x, quote, quote y, quote x, parent, comma, top two. Quote y quote equals quote x quote superscript comma two so, comma baseline as graph period to audio trace comma press alt plus t period. Is it good to um write y equals just for practice? Because I know it like autofill, so you just have to type the x thing. But I know a lot of teachers want you to type the y equals just to make it an equation. So absolutely, yeah, you want to type the whole equation in there. Also, and you were typing the formula pretty quickly. Desmos will actually tell you you need to fill out, you need to continue to type, you need to. Um, so it actually helps this the beginner student know how to type it also. But yeah, you always want to type a complete formula when you get into college and you're even more advanced than woohoo. But anyway, Alt T, let's go ahead and audio trace this beautiful parabola. Alt T, graph paper showing one graph period, graph paper, audio trace on period, new zero keys to navigate period, to hear the graph comma, press H period, to disable audio trace comma, press Alt plus T period, expression one intercept comma. Don't we love that? Uh, and of course, go ahead and just write arrows so people can hear. H, X colon 0 0.2 period, Y colon 0 0.04 period. And you want a left arrow so you know exactly where you're starting off from. Intercept comma, extra moment, X colon 0 period, Y colon 0 period. Yep. So for beginners, of course, you want that graph paper down there, and they're absolutely going to have to have that drawn out so they start understanding the graphs. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times these graphs are already in the book, and then, of course, the, the student needs to type it out. But this is absolutely essential. So uh, right now we have this, you know, silly little uh, settings keyboard come up uh, after you do the audio trace. It's no big deal. The kids can go ahead and hit print screen or alt print screen to go ahead and take a screenshot of this. Go ahead and do that. Windows up arrow. Uh, print screen. screen. Yep. And alt tab back to Word. And thank you for Windows back up back arrow and checking that. And then of course paste. Paste it from clipboard. Okay. So the students are going to go ahead and type out their formulas and all the math that they need to do. And then the teacher is going to say, go ahead. And you can download this. It just takes a lot longer. Uh, and even, and I was telling Boone, even a minute and a half is too long when you're doing a lot of math when print screen is just so easy and quick. And you don't have to rearrange the photo or anything like that. Okay, beautiful. Let's go ahead and F12 and quickly save this, Boone. F12. Save as dialog. File name colon edit combo. Boom last dot docs. The set of value use the arrow keys or hey, boom last is great. We're just gonna show people quickly how to move around this dialog box. Go ahead and do an Alt D and let's do it up. Let's okay. save it on the desktop. Yep, down arrow. Mm-hmm. And enter. We'll all locations button to activate. We're gonna save button. it loosely for right now. So go ahead and just do Alt S and save and close. Alt S. Boom last dot docs. Edit. Okay, and Alt F4 and get out of there. Alt F4. Then most vertical bar graph and calculate. Okay, I want you to Control T and you're to type in slides.new. Control T. Control T. New tab dash. Slides.new. S.google.com. Slides. Mm hmm. And new enter. Slides.new. Selected. New tab. New tab. Oh, my Untitled presentation dash Google. Got weird. To change the selection. But I guess that works because that's the address book. Rail support enabled okay. slide one to one layer colon title slide two okay. objects on the page. Let's quickly go over that. So uh, go ahead. You're, you typically have pop-ups, so I want you to just tab and listen for a got it button. And button to activate Perfect. Press enter period. Yep, and enter. People need to be aware of that. Wait, enter. what? You need to enter on this? got it. Yeah, these are pop-ups. Yep. Oh, I have to do space. space. Okay. Okay. Enter or space, yep. Sometimes space just seems to take you out of application mode, but it doesn't. Enter seems to take you out of application mode, but sometimes it actually doesn't click the button. Exactly. So you just need to be aware of that, that you just need to be aware of that, and you are. So very quickly in uh, Google products, uh, Control-Alt-H enables Braille mode. However, you want to enable it to navigate, but you must disable it if you want to actually Braille or type out information. In and I've had troubles like seeing images that are unlabeled sometimes with braille support enabled too yes so it's just being aware of those commands so you can quickly go in and out as you need uh, and when you pop in when you open a brand new slide you're always in your themes and we're not going to change our themes right now we he could easily down well just down here let's just pick a theme 
or tab. Wait, find out where, where am I now? I have no idea. I, I think I'm in the slide. You didn't give me the theme thing. Yeah, and I think it's because we had that pop up. Otherwise, typically it pops to the theme. Um, so we're just going to leave that right now. We're just showing the quick commands. Go ahead and do a, a control T and type in uh, docs.new so people control can see. Control T, tab dash Google, CS .google, S .google, yeah. Doc, .google docs. Yep. New and enter. Docs new, selected. So students can read these very quickly. Yeah. 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 Right parent. Frame. Document read only application control. Document okay. content edit. Item text period. Read reader support enabled period. Braille support enabled. Braille support enabled on page one period. Yep, hush them up. Okay, so that's really, really uh, easily done. So let's go ahead and I want you to hit your start key and type in PPT and we're going to quickly open a PowerPoint. Use Just virtual PC cursor. Use PowerPoint comma app comma yep. press right to switch preview. PPT okay. enter. Opening dash, opening dash PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. List box PowerPoint, backstage view, blank presentation, one of six. To move to an item, press the arrow keys, period. Alt follow and you by can F hit F escape F or enter on these. Eight. MDI client, multiple okay. document interface, client window, period. Spell check, ready, no selection, to select an object, comma, press tab, period. No selection, to select an object, comma, press tab, period. Yep. And what I'm going to tell you is you must have Office 365, and they have this incredible new design <clears throat> feature that will automatically design your slide for you. So I want you to just tab in, type in title, and then we're just going to escape out. Title, press folder. Type in title, we're keeping it easy. Just type in title or dog or puppy or whatever you want to type in. Just give me a title name. T I edit T edit E E okay. L E and escape twice to get out and tab to subtitle. Eight, eight. Yep. Center title placeholder level one title selected subtitle placeholder. Just type in by Boone. B S Y edit by B O O N. Okay, and hit escape twice. Escape escape. No selection. Okay. To select an object, comma press tab period. Now you're gonna hit F6 one time to your design ideas. F6, recommended design colon looping video, one of seven, to move to an item, press mm -hmm. the arrow key, period. Yeah, it literally is a moving video. So it is really adorable of a dog uh, <laughs> turning its head. Now, uh, PowerPoint has not progressed to the point where it's actually going to read the design, but truly any design is gonna be great. I'm not sure I would actually go with a moving video. So let's go ahead and down arrow. Design idea. Yeah, and you can't go wrong with any of them. So go ahead and I'm going to just pick one of these. It's a chessboard. Mm. Wait, does it seem like the design idea reads the first time, but then when you down arrow, it doesn't say anything? Or it, it does just... not. It does not tell you. It's just design idea one, two, three, four, five. And you just got to make an educated guess and, and truly you can pick anyone. Now you saw that her said moving video. So like I said, Probably don't want to do that, especially if you're doing a presentation in, in class. Um, otherwise, everybody's going to be well. They'll really be staring at your <laughs> staring at your PowerPoint because it is pretty cool looking. Um, so, if you want to, you know, hey, it is what it is. Go ahead and hit Enter, so we can go ahead and change that slide. Complete title slide one to one. No selection. So select an object, comma, press tab, it? Period. it automatically changes your slide to this beautiful graphical slide. Yeah, it's pretty whipping cool. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to insert a picture. And once again, it doesn't really matter what you're doing to this slide. So anybody with no vision can actually make the most perfect PowerPoint there absolutely is. Control M for a new slide. Title. Okay. If Control M does not work, it literally is stuck in your design ideas. So Control Space and C to close your design ideas. Control Space, I mean, menu, close, C. Yeah. I'm going to tell you that you need to Little really slide, one to one. listen. Selection, select an object, comma, press tab, yep. period. Go ahead and hush them up. Every computer is different. Some immediately pop you out of your design ideas. Some do not. Like yours was stuck in there. It's no big deal. Control space, C to close your navigation pane. And here you are. Control M now. And it will make another slide. No selection. To select an object, comma, press tab, period. Slide two. Yep. I want you to quickly uh, use your applications key so everyone can see all your ideas are under here. Application, also. Paste button to move to an item, press the arrow keys, period. P. Now, typically teachers want two content. The automatic default is a title and one content. So I want you to hit L for layout and let's go ahead and change to two content. L, title and content button selected to move to an item, press the arrow keys, period. Okay. And uh, so I want you to left arrow once to title slide title and down button. to two content. Two content button. Now, saying that, I'm going to tell you, title and content is always immediately to the right of your title slide. So the student is just going to left arrow to title slide and down arrow and to content is always under title slide. 
in a way that you typically have nine options. Some uh, actually give you 12. So you're just going to have to learn your program. Let's it's hit enter. grid, right? Like one of those it is. drop down groups. Yep. Enter. And once you, if you right arrow, you just go in a circle. Okay, let's go ahead and tab once to title. Okay. Let's uh, do an animal. Let's do something entertaining. Just type an animal's name, and then we'll find a picture for it. Of course, dog, cat, title case, of course. H R I M P. <laughs> okay, <laughs> escape. Escape object level shrimp. Escape twice always. Escape twice escape. always. And tab Wait, twice. Escape twice um, puts you in no selection, right? Title placeholder level one. Because if you escape once you stay on that placeholder. You do. And literally you can left and right arrow and it will move the placeholder. That's the reason why you always want to escape twice. Yep. Okay. And tab again. And you could right and left arrow right now and that would move it. But we don't want to do that. Okay. So typically we have to type in text. So just type in shrimp live in the ocean. They S like water. <laughs> I M E shrimp L. I V E I N H E O C E A N Ocean. And just hit enter so people. Oh, actually, remember now slides, you want brief ideas. You don't want sentences or paragraphs. Right? Yeah. So backspace over that period. Remember, you're giving brief right. ideas here. So hit enter, you get another bullet point. And enter. then, of course, just type in water. Just, you know, of course, you're going to get e e ideas R. here because you're typically presenting. And so you're going to be talking out your presentations. Go ahead and escape twice and then tab to your next place. Okay, object level, object placeholder. Perfect. Okay, you're going to do Alt N to insert. And with 365, I believe it is P. Alt, Alt N, upper ribbon, 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 apps, app, expand, P. P, menu, leaving menus, this device, dot, 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 to move okay. through items, press up or down arrow, period. Alt, if follow, you've gone online P. and downloaded it already. Online's O, right? Alt N, P, O. Yeah, yes, but we're going to actually go down arrow to online pictures so people can actually see how to do this. Images, dot, 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 Alt, follow by N, P, S. Online okay. pictures, mm -hmm. dot, 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 Enter. followed by NPO. Enter, leaving menus, oh. insert picture dialog. It actually dialogue. says there, oh, NPO. It does, we love that. Okay, go ahead and type in shrimp. S-H-R-I-M-P. Enter. Shrimp, enter. Custom enter. control. It immediately- Wait, would, would it be good to do period. picture smart on these? Because I don't know if they're labeled, are they? I know in Google- uh, they Not well. No, but if you do a good search, I mean, you can't go wrong with any of these pictures. They're all perfect search. Go ahead and insert space PC. See what it says. Picture smart. The current control is not Wait, a picture, let's period. Wait, insert yeah. tab. Oh, the insert tab. Custom great. control. Uh, yeah, no. Remote and now you're losing focus. Yeah. Well, now I'm in the result. Space. Insert space picture, PC. Picture smart is in progress, period. Heading level two, caption, is graphical user interface, period. Heading level three, these tags probably describe the photo food, comma, text, period. Heading level three, these tags possibly describe the photo fast food, comma, invertebrate, period. <laughs> Link, more results, results. It's space bar, more results, because typically you really do get Eight. a lot Picture better results. Progress, period. And I'm going to tell you, typically it reads the whole page, not Even just written. that one picture. picture. Heading level two, caption, is graphical user interface, period. Heading level four, this text appears in the photo online. Pictures, P, shrimp, power, hey! I think, logo, creative, <laughs> commons, only dot, dot, dot. You are responsible for your escape. Writes, comma, it actually said shrimp. It did. It did. So our picture smart is just going to get better and better all the time. Anyway, we want to hit enter to select it and then tab to insert. And Custom control. Oh, nope. it seems like you've had to tab because my insert tab says blank whenever yeah, I Yeah, you need to ignore him. When you type it in, you immediately end up on the picture. You hit enter to select it and tab to insert. Enter. Enter. Shrimp and dash dictionary. Perfect. And tab to insert. It actually looks underlined on my rail display. Insert yeah. Parent, one night parent button That's to activate what we like. Space period. Enter. 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 Selected. Level zero period. Okay. Link. The photo by a known author is licensed under. Link. Yep. CC by dash a. Now. Then hush him up. And um, I don't, since like Jaws was saying a lot, um, probably could be here, but it did actually say insert, image inserted on my rail display. So. Yeah. Yep. Uh, you do want to in te uh, alt text this. We're not going to do it yet. So you can see the problem if you don't, but it, it inserts it. It's really small. It looks kind of sort of ridiculous. So once again, you're going to F6 to your design ideas, which have automatically popped up. Design idea, two of 10, to move to an item, press the arrow keys, period. Oh, this and time it didn't say anything. It didn't uh, say moving video. Uh, it did not, but it said two of 10. So if you up arrow, you're going to hear one of 10. Amended design, colon, design idea. 
And we're going to choose that one. So go ahead and enter. Enter recommended design colon design ID <coughs> selected. And it, by a and it flawlessly rearranges <laughs> everything on your screen, makes it really nice and visual. Now that we know you're typically stuck in your design ideas, I'm going to go ahead and have you control space and see to close. Control space menu close to move mm -hmm. through items. Press up or down. Enter. Right. Now, applications key and you. CC by dash SA. This photo by a no. Yep. Uh, yeah. Now I'm really curious where you're actually at. Uh, insert tab because I believe both object placeholder a piece of food description automatically generated with low confidence. <laughs> okay, I want you to tab. We're gonna really make sure you're because it always puts in another um, little photo thing. Tab again. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, there's the problem. Yeah, it is gonna say freeform. So just tab. Keep tabbing to get to your. Freeform is on top of rectangle and is on top of. Oh no no no! My real choice flash. Oh yeah. Tab again because it is a freeform. Rectangle. Rectangle is covered by freeform and is covered by freeform and is covered by arc and is covered by title placeholder. Arc arc overlaps top edge of rectangle. Tab again. So now you get an idea of how it's actually looking. It looks cool. Title placeholder level one. Shrimp. Yay! Now it's no longer flash. Tab again. Freeform. Freeform is covered Another by freeform. freeform. Tab again. Freeform. Free object placeholder. A piece of food description automatically okay. generated with low confidence. Object so applications key. Let's rectangle. just put the because we know that piece of food is a shrimp. So applications key. Applications menu. Wait, cut is it move a, items, press a, up or down a, a? Yep. And if you forget, menu, you can just set arrow. Text, period. Okay. So control A to select all the stuff in that text box and just put it. Food description automatically generated with low. Yep. Oh, insert two. You're good. Both characters and words. Thank you. R. I. M. P. Okay, and then control space, C to close. Control space, menu, move to move through items, press up or C. Beautiful. Okay, so. Uh, that's I still how... see a menu. Did it do anything? It did. It's it's flawless. It's gorgeous. Uh, tab, one time. Leaving menus, object placeholder, level one. Bullet shrimp live in the ocean, the line left. Bullet water, shift object tab placeholder, back, on top of right angle, and overlaps bottom. Object placeholder, shrimp, object placeholder, okay. overlaps top edge of rectangle. Okay. Now, once Wait, is it actually overlapping or is it just PowerPoint? Saying no, it? it's you. Um, so it's uh, the reason why it's saying overlapping is because the design ideas it put, and you heard <laughs> as you were tabbing through, is the whole background is actually an overlay first, and then you have the arc, which you heard. Uh, and then you had another object, uh, which is on the, so you have objects all over your place. And so you do have overlays all over. Uh, visually, you just see a perfect slide with these beautiful graphic designs. But the feedback is kind of annoying until you get to your actual placeholders that you created that have shrimp. And then of course your bullet points and the picture, but it is flawlessly beautiful. Now, I'm going to actually show you how to get into your design ideas because based on, once again, you know, your computer and everything, they won't always automatically pop open. You're going to go ahead and put stuff on your slide and your design ideas. You can hit F6 and there's no design ideas there. So to force it open, we have to go to our design tab. So you can do Alt-G to design and then D. Ribbon, ribbon, tabs, tab, expanded, design yeah. D. Uh, and then it pops over. It forces menu, it shrimp slide, two of two, object placeholder, shrimp, object placeholder overlaps top edge of rectangle. Recommended yeah. design colon design idea, one of 12 to move to one another. Of 12. Oh, 12. Why did they get more? There was like seven, 10, and now there's 12. Yeah, it's, you know what? Because it gets new ideas. It's like, it's almost AI, you know? It's kind of like, oh yeah, let me give you some more ideas. But anyway, that's how you force your design ideas open. Okay, so. We have hundreds and thousands, oh my gosh, thousands of commands in Office. So we're going to quickly show everybody how we can save this here. Um, we're going to load it to Drive, and then we're going to open it in Slides. And then, of course, that's what you want to hand in. So let's go ahead, and uh, you're probably going to have to Control Space C to close to get out of your design ideas before you hit F12. Would but, Shift F6 work or no? Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Alt space menu system menu restore to move C leaving menus file name edit title type and text period uh, oh, no. name it shrimp name it shrimp S H R I M P mm -hmm. and tab you better check where your location is aligned left tab oh. tab undo save as type file name edit oh. shrimp type and text save as type combo oh it doesn't have an M well no, you, uh, you accidentally have. deleted out your P P yep Tab. Type combo box, PowerPoint presentation, left parent, star dot PPTX, right parent to change the selection. Menu, choose yeah. a location, submenu to move through items, press up or down arrow, period. 
documents is fine. And can you see that on your menu? Button button? Options, ellipsis, and then just Alt S to save. Alt S. Wait, oh, it doesn't give me the button to activate. Yeah. Press space enter. Don't, yeah, don't worry about it. Yep. Okay. Go ahead, Alt D and type in drive.google.com. Alt D, untitled document dash Google docs dash Google Chrome dash Boom left pair. Wait, will it will it let me save it if I have it open still or not? Uh, or I mean, will it let me upload it? Selected. Yeah, and. it it should be fine. But you're right. If you still have them open, you will get <coughs> choose. But you closed it, so you're good to go. Hit enter. Enter drive.google.com selected https colon slash slash drive.google.com slash drive slash table column one column row one. Absolutely. Menu folder to move the line down arrow period. Down arrow to file upload. Folder upload. File upload. Yeah. Enter. Enter. Leaving menus open dialog file name colon edit combo to set the value use the arrow key control L progress bar address edit combo C colon backslash users backslash. I want to point out something also down arrow to documents and then I want to. Tell Doc, document. Enter. Okay. Document. You'll notice he did a control L. You can do Alt D or Control L. I do want to tell people that sometimes, and I've have run, I've run across this, Alt D did not work. That's the reason why you need to know more than one way to do something. Anyway, you can just quickly do an Alt N and start typing in trim. Alt N, file name called. Down S. arrow. Yep. No, S and down arrow. Down arrow. Mm -hmm. And enter. You literally can live with an Alt D or Control L and Alt N. You can actually tap. Virtual PC cursor off. Uploading one item dialog. The navigate use tab again. Maximize. Tap again. 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 Okay, if it doesn't, every computer is different. If it doesn't want to do it there, go ahead and shift tab to close button. We're going to go to your most close recent. Button to activate yep. space space bar. Bar. Enter main region. Quick access DN main to go navigation. Navigation region. Folder Down arrow region. to recent. DN, my drive. Share drive. Share with me. Recent. Enter. Enter recent five of eight main region mm -hmm. loading recent list view list extended select list box not selected shrimp dot pptx powerpoint upload is one minute colon three nine am the size colon two hundred fifty kb typically down arrow it's up arrow is the easiest way to do it mm -hmm. yes space okay. I don't think really works uh, it does not uh, it did for like three months like years ago and then it stopped <laughs> hit the letter A for action and then down arrow to open with. Context menu, menu loading menu, menu loading Open context menu, has pop up to navigate, right press yep. down menu. Oh, it's a sub menu. Two of 17. It is. Google Slides, one of four. Yep, and enter on Google Slides. Enter, use virtual PC cursor off, leave Beautiful. menus, Google Slides, Google Slides. Okay, and of course you can do this with your math assignment that you did. Shrimp.ptx dash Google, 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 Google Slides, shrimp.ptx dash Google Slides, page has two links, shrimp.ptx dash Google Slides. And it's for the name, with the link, slides, home, read only, rail support, enable slide one of two title by boom, all text description, hold the picture in the chest name, layout, hold the title, slide six objects on the page, shrimp, unlabel button, but it's not a, it escapes, or control, so you hush them up. Woo, yeah, you get scabby. What were you saying? It's like a. It was doing a say all, but it's not a web page, is it? I mean, like, well, is technically, it HTML it is. View? Uh, you're in anything you are in the web. So it's going to, yeah, it JAWS, yeah, screen readers will just do that. But sometimes it acts like it's an HTML view, even though it's right. supposed to be an app mode. So I'm starting to tell kids just hush them up and then insert tab to hear exactly where you're at and insert T. So then you don't have to do, especially, you know, more advanced kids, then you don't have to deal with all that feedback uh, that he's giving you. Because if you insert tab, listen to exactly where you're at. Document content edit read only. That's not very specific. It is not. Insert T and listen to in general where you're at. Shrimp.pptx dash Google slides dash Google home dash boom left parent dd 977410 at uh, I actually uh, want you to go ahead and control shift tab back to your drive. We're going to open uh, some really advanced slides. What was that assignment that you were working on the other day? I'm trying to think of what, what it was. That oh, the English journal thing? Yeah, down arrow. There's some. Wait. Just down arrow. Is it? Yeah, down arrow. Oh, my my insert tab is saying the title of the window, and my down arrow isn't doing anything. Control L, Control L. 
Control L address and search bar edit HTTPS colon slash slash drive dot google dot com slash drive slash use slash zero slash reason. I've been texting. Yeah, go ahead and uh, uh, let's uh, shift F6 directly into your page. Shift F6, recent dash Google Drive. Okay, and then down arrow. How about GL? Mm. GL again. GL. GL. Yeah, there you go. Reason. Perfect. Reason. Yes. Extended and select down list arrow. Box. Extended select list box. Again. One point two point three math. Move the English journal share Google slides that open it? by defect 26 comma 2021 well, resize colon M. Was that it? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and hit enter and open. And we're going to change it all to text. Move the English journal dash Google slides. Move the English journal dash Google slides. Frame, okay. document, and hash them up. Rail support and Now, uh, of course, Rail you're going to have to be very diligent about doing your control uh, all H, but I'm going to show you a better way to do this for our kids. All F to file, D to download, and down arrow to plain text. All F. F. Menu, file, one. Microsoft PowerPoint. Down arrow to plain text. text. Right parent, one of seven. ODP document, PDF document, plain text, left parent, dot enter. PXT, right parent, four of seven. Enter. Leaving menus, frame, alert, exclaim, down, alert, exclaim, download, okay. complete, cold, moon, the English journal, dot TXT. Let's go ahead, Windows E. You can, of course, area. control L Windows also. Um, but we're going to need to download, yeah, or I mean Control J. Yep, hit enter. Control J takes you to download the library. 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 Make sure it's spacebar, yeah, and enter and open. Great. Enter. Leaving ribbons. Excellent. Enter. Leaving ribbons. 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 Enter. So control A, copy that, open Word, paste it in, because you're going to want the power of Word. Copy to Excellent. And go ahead and open Word. Paste it in. Word comma app comma W. Enter. Opening dash. Opening dash words. List box mm -hmm. words. Escape. Beautiful. And paste. Paste it from clipboard. Okay. Page five. Control home. Page one. Top of five. Okay. Blank. Now, as you go through here, you've got your hyperlinks, which you can select out. You can copy. You can go into the internet and paste them in. It's going to, and of course, in here, it tells you to uh, color code where you can select all H and then I to your text, change your text color, but insert down arrow and hear how clean this page is now. Normal. Reading response. Share some kindness. Bring some light. Answer these questions about the book the day you begin. Period. Write one or two sentences each question. Dot video link colon https colon slash slash yahoo dot slash kds 5d underline q fps. Write about the time when you have felt different question. What made you uncomfortable? And go ahead and hash them up. Time, period. Okay. And now you can see actually how clean it is. Will you open your schemes also so people can see why your jaws is talking in a particular way? Oh, insert six. Uh, no, insert uh, all s. Okay. Select the scheme dialog. List one, list two. Classic left parent okay. attributes, right parent. Four of twenty-four. So let's so just go over zero, this quickly. He's on classic attributes, so um, anything that is capitalized or slightly different, it's going to increase the sound. When the students are writing, they really should hit P for proofreading. Go ahead and just jump through and show people different items. Proofreading left parent attributes and font info right parent. Fifteen of okay. twenty-four. If a teacher sends you a document and she says, find the bold, find the underlined or whatever, you of course want those sounds uh, spoken to you. If you don't want any of those attributes spoken to you, you can hit W for Word Classic. Go ahead and get down to Word Classic, W. Web Red A Crowd, 23 of 24. And down Word Classic, 24 of 24. Yeah, because when I, I changed my um, thing in the jaw setting and the nice thing is like it only says capital on say also like if i'm trying yeah. to read a word it doesn't just like start saying it's yeah capital. exactly so go ahead and go see classic attributes and we'll quickly show people jaws settings also Newton, font info, right parent, three of 24. and down arrow classic yeah. left parent attributes right parent four yeah. of 24. so there's 24 items in here so i highly suggest people going in there and really checking it out and see what's going to work for you and you can change it based on what you're doing go ahead and hit enter Switch the okay. same classic left Let's go ahead and do insert edit. six. We don't have time to go all over it, but people do need to understand where your draw settings is and all the power. Settings, center dialogue. Search box okay. edit. Well, type the text thing is, the draw settings center braille. is huge. I just search for the thing instead of going through the tree view. It is, but if you want to make a big change, you always want to control shift D to set as default. Now, if you only want to make the change, yeah, in Fair Word. But you're also going to discover if you don't set as default and you are going down arrow to set up your braille and your speech and your verbosity and all of that, there are going to be some things that will say you can't do it because you're not set in default. So, because, so I mean, if you, if you get it from the JAWS menu, though, you're automatically in default, right? Uh, it, you just need to check it. 
Control Shift D just quickly sets default really, really easy. And then you can down arrow. So I highly suggest students spending time in here. I, uh, but only if you really know what you're doing. Uh, visually, you can immediately see that Boone is set up on words only. So he doesn't have to hear all the characters. Beginners, we always have characters and words. The quick command on that, which he did was insert two, which immediately quickly changes it. Uh, is there one that's permanent or not yet? Uh, maybe. Maybe if there is, I don't know what it is right now, but they're constantly updating and changing uh, all of that. But insert six, the setting center, very, very, very powerful. Go ahead and hit escape on that. Escape. Okay, so we've uh, pretty much given an overview of this. We didn't really touch Excel because Excel is so extensive in itself. And of course we've got the YouTube uh, videos on our channel also to go over what kids need in Excel. It's endless. Uh, making, oh, making documents accessible. Let's go ahead and alt tab. Let's quickly show that because making documents accessible. You can close that also. I think people get the idea of how beautiful it is. File name, file name, edit, in response. Alt N. Items new multi select list box. Today expanded. You can close that one. Alt F4. We have a Windows. Google slides. Google Chrome. Close that one now too. Use virtual PC cursor off. Recent dash Google Drive dash Google close. Use that. virtual PC mm -hmm. cursor off. Shrimp dot pptx dash close document window. Untitled presentation dash Google slide. Uh, close document window. Then most vertical okay, bar. You can go ahead and all F4 out of that. All F4. Leave side question. Dialogue. Yep. Changes. Leave side. Cancel buttons. Leave side. Leave side. Enter. Untitled dash Google Chrome dash Google. Here we are. Down arrow to JAWS lessons. JAWS web addresses dot txt. Um, so when you have a PDF, what you want to do is instantly get it into Word, and that gives the kids the ability to immediately write on it. So I want you to Applications key H to open with and open a Word. Open with Adobe Acrobat Reader. These open with submenu. The thing Adobe is Acrobat Reader. With um, Acrobat, I think you have to like get a paid version in order to edit it. But with Word, you can just edit it and save as PDF, right? Right. And we can, we could open it in Adobe also, do all F, keep as text only, that would do it. Uh, but it keeps it in text only. It but then you can't notepad. edit, right? Yeah. yeah, and then it opens in Notepad and then you gotta copy and paste it versus you don't have to do that anymore. We've got this incredible way to do it. <clears throat> Go ahead and just down arrow to Word. By the way, we have so many options here. Mm -hmm. Microsoft Edge M. Word, W, yep. leaving menu, Beautiful. items, new multi-select list box, John lessons, dot PDF, slash four, slash 20, 21, 8, 4, 5 a.m., in the acrobat document, 1, 512 KB, 507, to move to an item, press the arrow key, period, opening, dash word, John lessons, dot PDF, dash oh, protected view, dash word, edit, protected okay. view. And it's protected view, so quickly do an F6 and tab to enable editing, so people see it. Wait, can you write arrow to, or is that? Uh, I think it takes a tab, uh, but let's see, left arrow, let's see if it works. Be careful it does. Files from the internet can contain right and buttons and activate yep. You know what? You have nothing to lose but to try. Enter. Okay, I pressed. Excellent. It just has to re yep, do it. Okay, it's so re -O -C -R -E -N. what's also really nice about this is when uh, you do this option, all the graphics and pictures and everything is set up in this also, and it is beautiful. So what's also kind of cool about this is go ahead and do it. Insert down arrow so people can hear. Wait, my he, jaws is doing. He uh, did insert escape <clears throat> and refresh your jaws. Get him talking again. Wait, he may yeah. have gone off. Oh, there he is. Yep, there we go. Yay, now it's alt tab. We love alt tab. Okay, insert down arrow. Learning jaws. Graphic picture 10 image 1.12 inches wide by 1 inches high in line with text. Normal. Bye. Rosa Mauer. And these lessons, comma, a focus is placed on using keyboard shortcuts. And go ahead and escape. Carbon control. Escape. And hash them up. Beautiful. Uh, oh, one quick thing. So everything uh, pinned on your taskbar. Do a Windows T quickly to go down to your taskbar so people can see where all your comments Windows zero are. Taskbar. Uh -oh. Title dash Google Chrome. That's okay. No big deal. Windows lesson T. 1.2. Okay. I'm That's the thing about keyboarding. We goof all the time, don't we? Okay. <laughs> Windows T. Bar, zoom yeah, to especially act. with um, my Braille display, like I pressed some weird Windows thing instead of T and it yep. did a shift Windows zero. Yep. So his zoom is in the first slot, so he can Windows one and zoom instantly opens, right arrow. Canvas button. Canvas, Windows two, instantly, Canvas opens, right arrow. Google Docs button. Okay, Windows three, and I think people Four get that. Mm -hmm. Google Slides yep. button. So we call this million dollar real estate. 
So we pin items to there. He showed you how to pin Word on there. Um, and you can pin up to 11. So uh, that is just an instant way. And especially JAWS needs to be pinned because when he starts saying blank, blank, blank and insert escape and you're refreshing him and he still refuses to do, <laughs> to speak correctly, turn him off, go to your desktop and then do your windows, whatever number JAWS is on, he'll open back up and of course be happy. Is there anything else we should hit with people right now? Boom, we've got a pretty good, pretty good overview. So, um, I know there's so much. Oh, I mean, like, oh, what? And they need a, you guys, uh, screen readers need at least NVDA and JAWS and narrator. They need to know at least three uh, screen readers. Are there more? Uh, there are, but I mean, uh, around the world, but really, NVDA, JAWS, and narrator will do pretty much anything that you need on a computer. And you really need narrator because when everything decides to go out, and you have to do a hard uh, shutdown and their NVDA or JAWS are not starting up with the computer narrator will. And we love that. And of course- As long as Windows to... loads, otherwise you right. have a problem. Right. And of course it enables you to reset your computer. We like to do that with students every summer so they can start out with a brand new spanking computer, start the school year. And of course they learn how to load their own programs back and uh, everything else. And of course it teaches them control of their computer. So this is kind of the basics. It's uh, and those really are the basics. Uh, of course, there's a gazillion more commands off of that. But um, oh yeah, Gmail. We didn't even hit. Do they get kids have to know how to have? Uh, is your Outlook set up on this computer? Yeah, I don't know how to use Outlook. It's not my account, but it should be okay to go into. I just don't I'll know have, how to use let's it. See. So I want to see if we can do it directly from Word. I'll, uh, we're going to have to alt tab to your, tab to your Word document. Yep. Alt lessons, PDF, dash word, edit. Alt F. Alt Menu, home, to move through items, press up or down. Let's go ahead and Z to share. Z. Tab, yep, tab to Word document. The one drive to share, period. We apostrophe LL also upgrade the file format to dot docs so that you can collaborate in real time, period. Upload location, new docs, one drive, dash, attach a copy instead. Word document, button, activate, press enter, period. And Outlook has to be set up first, of course. On MicroConnects, go ahead and type in E E N I C. Wait, and, and then you have to go to, uh, then you have to go to like all uh, Outlook and F9, right? Yeah, you do, because this is a client. So as soon as you send something, it's just sitting there until you open Outlook and hit F9. F9 forces saves it. You could open Outlook and just sit there for a while. Also, we like F9 because let's basically face it, we're impatient humans. Uh, oh, there's our menu task. Go ahead and uh, you can alt uh, tab to your 30 minute reminders. Okay, uh, so if you would have typed in my email, you could have tabbed your message body edit and typed a message and then just alt. Wait, so I type in your email? Yeah, D E N, listen. Yep, there you are. Hit enter. Then enter. Yep, tab. You're going to hear your subject already. DT edit, type in text period, computer braille. Subject edit, JAWS lessons dot PDF, yep. type in text period. JAWS lessons dot PDF dot docs one MV one the one attachment. And it tells you it was period. originally a PDF and you changed it to a doc and then you tab. You edit. don't have to type this, but you would, of course, if this, is work, to, if this is tab. work to a teacher, you're going to say, please see attached and you put your name. How do I alt. get out of this edit field? Because if I tab, it actually makes it. In you don't have to, just alt S to send it. You're done. You can shift tab back up also. Yep. JAWS lessons dot PDF dash word, edit. And of course, you're just going to hit your start key. You don't have to do it, but you hit your start key, type in Outlook, and then type in F9, open of course, it. Outlook, Kamu, yep. enter. enter, beautiful. Open dash Outlook. And F9. F9, one of one tasks of completed successfully. Connectivity to your server period. Connected to full Microsoft Exchange. Cancel all button to activate press space R period. Alt plus C, 100%, 50%. 100%. And you can all F4 out of there. Yep, all F4. Beautiful. Nice job. Thank you, Boone. That was a good, uh, nice, basic demonstration of what um, anybody using a screen reader, and of course, not even touching the Braille display, all the commands that you need to learn on the Braille display so you can control your computer with your Braille display, which is really nice. Um, but that was a good start. And I think maybe we'll connect later down the road also and do a little bit more advanced lessons, but that's a nice uh, basic start. And of course, JAWS OCR and Picture Smart. Didn't even hit Picture Smart. Oh yeah, we did, the shrimp. <laughs> yeah, 
So thank you, Boone. And You're welcome. So um, so that's a good basic thing because I know like there's more, but um, oh, that so might much. be considered more advanced. Endless, endless, endless. 